Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what messages the universe wants to share with us today, please. What do we need to know? What is happening here? What does the collective need to hear? What is going on? Judgment. Beautiful way to start the reading. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us today, please? What does the collective need to hear? The Ace of Swords. We'll grab one more card and then we'll start talking about the story that is unfolding here. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us, please? What do we need to know? And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, guys, what a beautiful way to start your reading today. I love it. Well, judgment is all about renewal. It is about restoration. It is about reconciliation as well between you and your person. But it also indicates that your person can be judging themselves at the moment for creating the conflict between the two of you, for creating this distance, the space, the separation that you're both in at the moment. And your person is actually feeling the heavy weight of some of that. They do feel some guilt and remorse for creating the damage they created in this relationship. But judgment is the resurrection energy. It is about something coming back from the past, something representing itself, and that something is your person because they have been doing a lot of inner reflection, some inner work, some soul searching, listening to the universe because there is divine intervention here in this connection with you and your person as well. And they are listening to all of that to start making their way back to you because they would like to reunite. Now, this Ace of Swords is about a breakthrough. Your person being able to see things so much clearer now than they ever were before. The Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth. And it tells us that, yes, your person has taken a realistic look at themselves and they are seeing that yeah they didn't behave in such great ways towards you in the past and that is going to change because that's supported with that wheel of fortune but the ace of swords is also about the initiation of communication your person reaching out to communicate with you to break the silence, to get communication flowing between you. The Ace of Swords tells us your person has had a breakthrough and they see things so much clearer now than they ever have before, which is why they're going to start talking. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is about change. Change is coming in this connection with your person. The Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of the Universe. And the wheel of the universe is in constant motion. It is constantly spinning. And we never know what is going to be in our lives five minutes from now. Don't you feel that, guys? Especially right now, the energy is really intense on the planet. Can you feel it? I don't know which planets are causing it, but there is some really intense energy going on right now. We are at the tail end of that nasty Mercury retrograde that we had for the entire month of August, and that's going out with a big loud bang as well, causing some technical issues and some communication difficulties. But there are other planets that are definitely facing off in the skies that are making this intense feeling for so many people that are in the collective. Are you guys feeling that intense energy right now? The wheel of fortune is the wheel of destiny and the wheel of fate. And when you met your person, did it feel like fate had intervened to allow the meeting for the two of you to occur? Did you guys experience that? Was it magical? Was it cosmic? Was it otherworldly? Because the powers that be definitely allowed the two of you to meet, to come together because you have a destiny to fulfill with each other, with that wheel of fortune being here. This tells us there's more to this 
relationship than meets the eye. There's more to come with this person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us today? What do we need to know? What is happening here? Well, this is the page of pentacles. More communication coming from your person. That is what this is saying, but they're coming with an offer. Now that offer could be something like, Asking you if you'd like to go out. Asking you if you'd like to meet. Asking if you will spend time with them because they want to talk to you about this reconciliation. First comes the communication, obviously, and we have two very strong cards of contact coming from your person in this reading with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. But the Page of Pentacles also tells us your person is so much more grounded now than they were in the past and that they are making changes for the better to be able to have a more stable relationship with you, which is what you truly need in order for this relationship with your person, the person on your mind who you're thinking about to go long term, which is what this person is thinking about with this option here with this judgment card rather that says let's get this going again i want to reconcile i want to reunite i want to rejuvenate the situation between the two of us because i have changed i see things with greater clarity than i have before it's time to change the dynamic between us because we have more to our relationship there's more to this relationship than what we currently have experienced and there's more to come in this connection between us that is what your person is thinking right now but this page of pentacles is about communication coming with an offer perhaps it is to meet perhaps it's an apology and that will start the lines of communication between the two of you it'll open them up so you guys can start getting to this place of reunion let's see what else we need to know for this reading today what other messages does the universe want to reveal what messages does the collective need to hear today please the chariot let's get things moving let's get things unstuck let's get things grooving here and on our way to union the chariot is ruled by cancer so if you or your person have your sun moon or rising signs in cancer this can be a place of validation that there's a message in this reading for you you do not have to be cancer for this reading to work or resonate with you these readings are for the collective and they are for all signs but the chariot is also about success and victory and your person being able to overcome the things that have held them back the things that have stopped them from being able to move this connection forward they will be victorious over that they will be successful in letting go of these things that have prevented the two of you from having this stable relationship Let's see what else we need to know. What other messages does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to hear? What is happening here? This is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands tells us your person is, yes, at the moment, in this place of taking a step back. And most of you watching this channel are experiencing that from your person because there's no contact. They're silent. They're kind of like in this place where they're in the cave and not really talking and not sharing anything with you. But with this Nine of Wands energy, it tells us they're figuring things out in terms of how they're going to plan their approach, how they're going to plan this offer they want to make towards you. And they want to do it right. They don't want to screw it up because they can see because they've had this clarity that they've made a lot of mistakes and they've created a lot of problems in the past and they don't want to screw it up again. This is about your person figuring out their plan of approach and then following through with that plan because the Nine of Wands is also a card of courage. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us? What do we need to hear about what's going on? What is going on with this person? The world, well, from every ending comes a new beginning. The circle of life, 
when the world shows up. And this is a beautiful rendition of the world card with that meditating person up there holding out her hands and the butterflies flying from her hands. It looks like they're actually coming from her hands. But the world is about happiness. It is about attaining all that you hope for, all that you desire, all that you wish for. And so whatever you have been hoping and wishing for in relationship to this person who is on your mind as you are watching this reading today, the world is about the fulfillment of that. It also tells us that this relationship with this person is going to be more balanced, more harmonious, more fulfilling, more joyful where they will be an equal contributor to this relationship, where you're not doing all the heavy lifting, where you are in harmony and tranquility with each other in terms of a loving partnership. Now, this world card can also indicate travel. So do any of you that are watching this reading today have any travel plans coming up? It's about travel, going somewhere different, going somewhere exciting, going somewhere fun and just enjoying yourselves and having a little time away but it also indicates that your person is going to want to travel with you as you guys start rebuilding this relationship and traveling with your person is going to be a lot of fun especially especially quality time away together where it's just the two of you and there's no one else around you and you're just being able to be open and talk and put everything out on the table and go over all of these things that you have both experienced and how you've both changed during the time that you have been in this preparing for union space. Let's see what else we need to know. What other messages does the universe want to share with us, please? What does the collective need to hear? Well, this is the six of pentacles. Your person sees you as a blessing in their life. And you truly are a blessing in this person's life. They see you as a gift from the universe, which is why they're not going to take you for granted ever again. The Six of Pentacles is also a card of a windfall coming at you. So for some of you out there, perhaps you're getting a raise, a bonus, a commission. Perhaps you're going to have a winning scratch-off ticket, perhaps even a winning lottery ticket. Oh, especially with it being right under that wheel of fortune. That is a good combination for getting some sort of like windfall, some sort of extra money coming at you when you weren't expecting it. Maybe it's time to go buy a lottery ticket today. I don't know. Just saying because the Six of Pentacles can be about a, a, a bonus, a windfall of money. But it also tells us your person sees you as someone who is very generous and that you are very loving and that you're very kind. And your generosity extends not only to your person, but to other people in your life and to animals and to people who are less fortunate than yourself. They see you as someone who's very charitable. And this is one of the things that they love about you. But as well, they are seeing you as this gift from the universe that they will not be taking for granted again. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? The Seven of Cups. Well, somebody is thinking about you all the time. We have a powerful dragon on this card and a beautiful rainbow. This tells us your person is envisioning this future with you, and they are thinking about that quite a bit. This rainbow was a symbol of hope. It tells us that you have reason to be optimistic about the situation with your person. And for many of you watching the reading, perhaps you have been losing hope. Perhaps because you haven't heard from this person in so long, you think that nothing's happening. But something is happening. You just can't see it. It's not time for you to see it yet. But this is about your person overcoming all of the things that have held them back from being able to be in this relationship with you, from being able to be all in with you. And they're going to take the action here that comes with that nine of wands to start moving things forward between the two of you so that you can start reconciling, coming back together, spending time together, going places together. Oh, that chariot is also a card of taking a trip as well. Perhaps a road trip 
going somewhere for a weekend with your person or with your friends, going to visit friends or family. The chariot is about movement, as is the world, getting things moving here and unstuck between you and this person. But with this seven of cups, they are thinking about you all the time. They daydream about you. And what are daydreams really? Kind of like how we project our fantasies or visions into the future about what we want to create. And this is what your person is doing, projecting this vision of you and them in this relationship together, building and planning a future with each other, because this is what is part of their vision. And this is their desire, but they're dreaming about you at night as well, meeting up with you in that 5d place where the two of you can exchange information and exchange energy. The Seven of Cups is also a card of fantasy. So yes, your person may be fantasizing about you in that, in that way. And we can't talk about that way, but you guys understand what we're saying here. Your person is thinking about that quite a bit, especially as they go to sleep at night in the evenings, because that is where this true longing for you occurs in that space between being awake and falling asleep. And we spend that time thinking about those things that are in our lives or not in our lives as the case may be with this person. And they are thinking about you before they go to sleep to hope it will bring them dreams of you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us today, please? What do we need to know? The Ace of Wands. I love the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands always gets me really excited. Oh, the Ace of Swords as well. Okay. Okay. The Ace of Wands is all about starting over. But the Ace of Wands is also about taking it up a notch on the spiritual level here your person has had a spiritual awakening during the time that you have been in separation just like you have and that awakening is going to help the two of you have a much better chance at long-term partnership with each other which is what your person has been envisioning because they do want to come back and start over with you because they have had a breakthrough and they see clearly but this ace of wands is all about starting over it is all about beginning again in this relationship, but it is a level up. You guys have both ascended on that ladder of spiritual awakening and you've both kind of like climbed up. So this is going to give greater stability to your relationship and greater potential for longer lasting staying power as well. Now also with the Ace of Wands though, it tells us your person is going to follow through with their plan. And we talked about their plan with that nine of wands. Your person will follow through with this plan and get things moving here, especially because it dropped underneath that chariot, which is a card of movement, getting things quickly moving along with the fire that comes with that ace of wands. So let's see what other messages the universe wants to reveal for the collective today, please. What do we need to know? making a choice. And that actually makes a lot of sense with this reading because the Ace of Swords is also about the activation of a decision. Swords are things of air and air is things like communication, ideas, thoughts, decisions. Your person making a choice about how they're going to approach this. And that is what this Nine of Wands is all about. That is confirming that Nine of Wands. Am I going to take this light colored door here with this tree or am I going on this bird or am I going to take this purpley colored mountain door here with that butterfly how am I going to fix this is what this card says it is about your person deciding how to approach you and then following through with that plan because we've seen them following through with their plan of approach here several times during this reading because your person wants to be successful in terms of rebuilding this relationship with you. They want to make sure that they get it right. They don't want to mess it up again. 
They know that you have this deep divine connection, whether you guys have talked about it or not. And that is part of that wheel of fortune as well, that you do have this destiny to fulfill with each other because you have these soul contracts, whether you are soulmates, whether you are twin flames, please just take it as it resonates for you and your situation. But your person is acknowledging there's more to your story. It's not finished. They know that there is a destiny at work in this connection between the two of you. And it's time for them to figure out how they're going to approach this so they can make sure that they fulfill their part in this fate and this destiny that exists here between you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us today, please? What do we need to know? What is happening here? What does the collective need to hear? What is going on? Willing release. That card comes with number 49. And that card came with number 30. Anyone resonate with 49, 4, or 9? And we have dandelions. And dandelions are always a symbol about wishes. Do you see wishes or do you see weeds when you see a dandelion, guys. I saw that the other day and I hadn't seen that saying in a long time. When you see dandelions, do you see wishes or do you see weeds? I always see wishes, except I do like dandelion tea. So not sure if that means I'm drinking my wishes or drinking the weeds. So anyway, that's enough of that. But this is about letting go. Your person letting go not of you or of this connection, but letting go of all of the stuff that has held them back. Because that's the only way they're going to be successful in terms of rebuilding this relationship with you, in terms of this reunion that they want. They have to let all of those things go that have held them back. And they're doing it willingly because they don't want that to be part of their life anymore. All of this stuff that happened before they met you, all of these things that they went through when they were younger, that was perhaps 10 years ago, three years ago, longer years ago than that. And they've been lugging all of it around for however long they have, sometimes because it allows them to have that victim mentality, sometimes because it gives them an excuse to not be accountable or responsible in an adult relationship, whatever it is that this person has been dragging with them. And I guess I was saying it a little bit sarcastically because these are things that they should have gotten rid of long ago before they met you, ideally, but they didn't for whatever reason, which is why I said those other things. But this is about your person letting go of all of this stuff, whether it is bad behaviors, toxic behaviors, perhaps it's even toxic or dysfunctional friends, family members, toxic or dysfunctional exes that have still been trying to control their lives, or whether it is wounds from their emotions, old emotional wounds that they've been dragging with them for a long time, or fears or insecurities or any other illusion that they have allowed to build up in their mind, which is where all of that stuff lives anyway. They are releasing all of it and they're letting it go because they want to be all in in this relationship with you and they will be successful in letting this stuff go. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know? What is happening here? What do we need to know about this person? What is going on here, please? Adventure. This card also comes with number 30. How interesting is that? I would certainly like to be this person floating in that shell which comes with its own ocean, by the way, that this mermaid has her own little ocean here inside this shell as she floats above the ocean and these hills, mountains, perhaps even a volcano here. But again, beautiful artwork by Josephine Wall. Adventure. Your person wants to have adventures with 
you. They want to do new and exciting things. They want to go to different places. And that is definitely supported with this world card and that chariot about going places, doing new things, traveling, going places you've never been, having new experiences and adventures with each other and building and creating and making so many more wonderful and magical memories with each other. But as well, this can also be for you guys watching the reading. Have you had an adventure lately? Maybe it's time for you to have an adventure. Is there somewhere that you want to go or been thinking about going? Somewhere that you have wanted to travel that you haven't gone but you have always longed for? And you can make that happen right now if possible. Maybe it's time for you to take your own little journey. Go with a friend. Go with a family member. Go by yourself if, if that's something that you are comfortable with. But this is about adventures. New and exciting experiences. The world is all about travel and having these new experiences with your person, but also by yourself as well with this adventure card showing up. But wouldn't it be cool to be floating in that seashell above that those islands and that ocean with this beautiful full moon behind us? We do have a full moon eclipse coming up, guys on the 17th of September and that full moon eclipse is happening in Pisces so it may be giving us all a bit of a, a punch um, because Pisces can be about emotions so if you are feeling extra emotional at the moment it could be because that full moon eclipse is getting ready to happen and that could be causing some of the en intense energy on the planet that we were talking about earlier so we'll use some of our cards now. This is one of our decks, Divine Oracle Messages. And there is a link in the description below for these cards. Also, we are coming out with some new cards soon, guys. And as soon as those are available, we will let you know. But for right now, we are moving on with this reading to see what else we need to know about what's going on with this person. Confronting. Okay, I feel that this comes back to this willing release card on what we were talking about with that when we said they are kind of like releasing all of the things that have been holding them back. And when you do that, you truly have to confront those things, right? Whether it's insecurities, whether it's fears, whether it is toxic, dysfunctional friends, family members, toxic, dysfunctional exes who won't let you go and still keep bombarding you with stuff. And your person is confronting all of that, as well as the other things that have been within them that have prevented them from moving forward in this relationship with you. And that makes sense because we do have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, which are telling us about your person evolving and changing having clarity, having epiphanies, seeing the truth of everything now. It's time to confront all of these things that have held them back, not only from this relationship, but in other areas of their lives as well. And by confronting these things, they will be able to be free of them. And that will definitely help this relationship get moving and get it flowing to the place of reconciliation so the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us, please? What do we need to know? Seeing clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, and your person is saying, I can see clearly now because I'm confronting all of this stuff and getting rid of it once and for all. But your person has definitely had this breakthrough. They see the forest through the trees. And it's been more than one epiphany, more than one breakthrough, kind of like a series of them. And as they had one, the other came, and then another. And this is what is giving your person greater understanding, greater awareness, greater clarity about their place in this connection, 
their place in this world, and what they need to do to get you back. Which is why this Nine of Wands energy came up, which talks about your person figuring out their plan, figuring out their plan of approach, how they are going to decide which path they're going to take back to you. And also remember, this making a choice is not about your person. Making a choice about you or someone else or whether or not, it's about them making a choice about how they're going to approach this situation. And yes, they may be at a fork in the road. They may ha be having to figure out, I could do plan A, I could do plan B, I could do plan D. Depends how much of an overthinker your person is. And there are some of you out there whose person probably does think quite a bit, but that is about them making the choice. And they are seeing clearly to be able to figure this out so that they can be on their way back to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? What is happening here? Looking back. Well, yes, your person is spending quite a bit of time here reminiscing about you, about this relationship, about your adventures, about your passionate moments, about the time you spent together, about the places that you would go, the places you would travel to, where you would go for your dates, all of the wonderful time that the two of you would have with each other. Your person is looking back on all of that. But as well, they're also looking back at the problems that they brought into this relationship. And this is why they're confronting all of that stuff that caused them to act and behave that in ways that dishonored you and this relationship. Acknowledging that you are a blessing in their lives and they shouldn't have treated you that way with such disregard, with such dishonor. And they know that they will do so much better with you moving forward because this Ace of Wands tells us they have been reborn of the fire of the universe and so does that judgment card. It is about rebirth and renewal for your person, growing, taking it up a notch, being a better person so that they can be a better partner who can give back to you the same way that you have always given to them. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us? What do we need to know, please? True love. Every time I see this card, it reminds me of that from the Princess Bride. True love. Who was that that said that? I can't remember, but I remember it because it would always crack me up. True love. And your person acknowledging here that, yes, you are their true love. And they do feel this deep, true love for you. And even though they may not have shared this with you in the past, perhaps they kept their feelings on lockdown for whatever reason, but they're confronting all of those reasons now because they want to release all of that stuff so that they can be all in in this relationship with you. Remember, this person is acknowledging that there's a destiny here between you. They know that there's more to this relationship than where it currently stands. This is why they have been getting these epiphanies, having these eureka moments, being able to see things a lot more clearly, going through this spiritual growth as well that comes with that ace of wands. This is why your person is waking up to this relationship, to this connection, and to this true love that is here between you. Do you guys feel that true love for your person? Did you feel that when you first met one another? Because they did, just like you did, because you felt it more than likely, right? I mean, how could you not? Because it's like your souls were on fire for each other when you first met each other. And that is how these connections go. That is that spark that is within you that says, Oh, you know what? This is the one. This is the one that you are supposed to be with. And it can very often feel like that some sort of fire, some sort of spark going off that 
You may even feel like you melted when you met this person, but you felt electricity. You felt that spark in your heart, which was your soul igniting going, yes, this is the one. This is your destiny. This is your fate. And this is what your person felt in that moment. Well, maybe not exactly like that, but they did feel something when the two of you first met in that divinely orchestrated way that only the universe can create with the divine intervention to allow the two of you to meet. Now the divine intervention is to help your person make their way back to you by giving them the courage, the confidence, the words that they need to make their way back to you and start talking to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with the collective, please? Twin flames? Well, that is about a spark going off, isn't it? That looks like a burning flame on this card. Yeah, so your person may be able to acknowledge that this is a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection. I am not limiting it to what it says on this card because there are divine counterpart connections for you guys. Whether you are soulmates or twin flames, please just take it as it resonates for you and your connection with your person. But they are saying here that there is definitely a fire between us. There is a soul connection between us and we both felt it. We both experienced it in the moment the two of us first met. And that is what they are saying here. And maybe this is something you talked about with your person. And maybe for some of you, this person has even been researching these kind of connections online. Because if you don't understand what's happening, in terms of like a spiritual counterpart connection, you have to kind of like do some research to figure out and understand why you still have all of these feelings for this person, why you're still thinking about this person, although you're not together and you're not in each other's lives at the moment, right? I mean, that's something as well. Your person could have been researching this stuff and maybe they're even watching videos on YouTube or getting readings to try and understand what is happening as well. But they're acknowledging here that there is a divine counterpart connection. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us, please? Renewal. Well, that comes back to that judgment card. Renewal and spark. And this is the spark. Look at that. It's like your two sparklers here when the two of you first met one another. Feeling that spark within each of you just going off and igniting to alert the two of you to, yes, this is the one. But this is about renewal. This is about getting back what was lost. This is about starting over and coming to this place where you're both in a more elevated spiritual place than you were in the past. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to reveal for the collective, please? What do we need to know? Well, this is interesting. This is the Ace of Air, which is the Ace of Swords. So again, we have another validation of the Ace of Swords here, which is the second card that we got for this reading. And with the Ace of Air, the Ace of Swords, we are again validating that yes, communication is coming from your person. This also says Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So Please just take it as it resonates. You don't have to be an air sign for this reading to work for you. These readings are for all signs. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us? What does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? Soul ties. Reunion. Yes, that is how this reading started with that judgment card. This is about reunion with your person, reconciliation, starting 
over, starting fresh with that Ace of Wands. Yes. But as well with that Judgment card supporting this Renewal card as well. There is reconciliation coming. But as you rebuild this relationship, remember, you're both in a more evolved spiritual space than where you were before. This will give this relationship greater stability and staying power. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know? Truth. Well, yes. And that is all about that Ace of Swords and this Ace of Air. I'm going to move these a little bit to make room. Truth. Your person expressing the truth, expression of their truth that they have hidden from you. All of it will come tumbling out because your person wants to release all of it and share everything with you because this person wants to be authentic with you. And if they haven't expressed their love for you, I just noticed I put those side by side. I didn't do that. I just dropping. Um, Yes, so their truth, they're going to express their true love for you as this person returns and you guys start rebuilding this relationship, which is truly what needs to happen here. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the universe want to share with us? Fate. Detours and divine intervention. And we have talked about fate and destiny throughout this reading because we do have that wheel of fortune, which is the wheel of fate, the wheel of destiny. And this divine intervention is happening in this situation with your person. It happened when you first met and it's happening now to give your person the courage, confidence and strength that they need to make their way back to you. And you are on a detour at the moment. For most of you watching this reading, you're not with your person. For a few of you watching this reading, communication has started happening with their person and they are sharing that with the people who are in the chat on the premieres. So if you haven't joined us for a premiere, guys, jump in and chat with us. The premieres happen every day on this channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on Saturday and Sunday also at 11 a.m. Eastern Time because people are coming back into union with their person and they are sharing their experiences with people in the chat and you can see that yes, it can happen. And if it can happen for someone else, why can't it happen for you and this person? It can. But your person has to put their plan of action into effect. And this is what they are working through right now because this person is saying here very clearly I want to reunite I see the truth I have my clarity I understand you in this connection so much more now than I ever did I made mistakes in the past and I want to fix that this is why I am releasing everything that has held me back from you and from this union it's time for me to get moving and that is what your person is going to do here. This last two cards, the Chariot and the Ace of Wands, are all about movement and getting things rolling here. And your person initiating and taking action to start making that happen. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you watching today. Have a great day, everyone.